mommy, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you, mom. God bless you that I promise you when I grow up, I'll build a house for you. I'll buy you a car. I promise you. I'll make your life better. You see, my first salary back, I'll give you everything for all the sacrifices you've made for me. I am grateful. God knows I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, my parents. I, I love you. I love you. You've done, you've given your whole life for me. So just thank you. Was that about to bore you? <laughs> I'm sure most of us made all those promises. Ah, as kids. A lot of people said that. I'm not the only one who said that. A lot of us do. But what I don't know is um what's happening. Are we living up to our promises to be? So guys, sit back. Let's talk about some of the promises we made as children and see how much we are actually pulling through with those promises right now. Hello, my name is Genevieve Asoka and you're welcome to today's episode of Cheese with Genevieve where we talk about real life issues and profile solutions. So today we are going to be talking about some of the things, promises actually that we make to our parents as children and the reaction we are giving to those promises now that we are adults. I'm not here to pin you to your promise. I just want us to talk about issues that actually concern us parenting. One day we all are going to be parents and um, we're going, it's going to reverse and our kids will also be in the position that we are right now calling the shots and um, ranting about things. So let's talk about this issue. Whose responsibility is it to take care of them? our aging parents or our aged parents. Uh, when we're growing up, we, we've said a lot of things. If this question, if someone had asked you this question when you were probably in university or maybe when you were um, in school, when your parents were the ones calling the shots and um, doling out the money and taking care of you, I'm sure that the answer would have been definite. Like we all know that I uh, take care of our parents. You know, I, you know what? They went over and beyond to see me through school. Some persons, their parents are God, my parents, my, my mother did this and uh, a lot of things. People begin to tell you stories about what their parents had to go through for them to be where they are today. Then uh, they, they won't even ask them this question. But you know, for small, 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 it's everywhere on the internet. See news flash, eh, parents, stop bugging your children, they don't have a responsibility. You know, a lot of things. And some will say, ah, no, no, no don't go there. They, they, they took care of me because I wasn't even there that night when it happened and I came into this world. I didn't make that decision. I didn't call that shot. It was their decision. So taking care of me, training me, is their, was actually their responsibility. And so it's not as if they were investing in me when they were taking care of me. I agree with your um, theory. But if your parents decided not to train you, if you decided not to take care of you, if you decided not to actually do all the things that it did for you to make your life better, to make your life different from the life of that ordinary child on the street, the life of that regular child that maybe didn't have a, a parent or didn't get the life, the, the good life that you have today. If your parents decided not to do all those things actually and they want to be responsible parents, hell, will not let loose. You can only run your mouth and call them irresponsible to you get. So we won't be having this conversation today. So if your parents actually took care of you, if they actually sacrificed to take care of you, then you are privileged. You're one of the privileged few. So what you should do is to be thankful to God and thankful to them as well. So if you have parents who took care of you and trained you, made all the sacrifices, they made in this life for you to be who you are. Some persons are still in their father's house up to like 30 years, their parents. Some people 20s, even beyond 30s, you're still trying. Some of my must have been jam for like 10 years. And finally, they saw you choose school and immediately you just hit your first breakthrough. Your, your talk will just change. It's not my responsibility to take care of you. Really? Relationship between a child and the parents is actually a relationship of love, a lot of emotion. Family ties has a lot of emotion. Things are not logical when we when it comes to family. 
why should your brother ask you for money and a stranger ask you for money and then you take care of your brother and not the stranger? What's the logical explanation? What is the logical explanation? Because he's my brother. So the point I'm trying to make is, for me, there are some things I would love to have my name on. Things like Newsflash, the popular um, Genevieve Osaka, you know her, the popular socialite the name for Osaka. Yes, she bought her parents a house in Nikoi. Yay! Or Asokoro in Abuja. Yay! Or uh, she bought her dad a Range Rover, the latest model. And yay! And she bought her mom. Which one? Yeah. I'm not really good with cars, but whichever good one that maybe a Range as well. And uh, <laughs> hey, and she's taking them on a tour, uh, giving them the baby boy and baby girl life. Do you understand? And they are bowling. Do you get me? <laughs> I would love my name to be tied to it. So because I cannot afford it now, I cannot now say that it's not my responsibility, no me. Ah uh ah. -uh. Let's not be like the proverbial drunkard that say that extra stout is bitter simply because you cannot afford it. Come on guys, if you've not gotten the financial muscle to give them that life, to fulfill your promises, that's fine. You don't have to put yourself under any pressure. Nobody's pressuring you. The little you can do, you do. The things you can do for your parents, you do. Now, on the inf emphasis on the fact that the relationship between you and your parents has a lot of love and emotions around it. When I was growing up, one particular modern Sunday, my younger brother, of blessed memory is late to be. Got my mother an apple and one really small embroidered handkerchief and gave it to her as a gift on Modern Sunday. Now, this, as I've been, highest it could have been 100 naira. But to think of the fact that he had to save a part of his pocket money to get her that gift, I mean, he thought of getting her something. My mother still remembers it till tomorrow. So, it taught me a lesson a very long time that it is not actually the quality of the gift. Give the best quality if you have it. But it's about the heart that is giving it. Take care of your parents as a matter of love. If you're privileged to have your parents alive and you're able to take care of them, you're one of the privileged few. Some persons, immediately they got to their prime, they lost their parents. Their problem is not whose responsibility is it to take care of them. Their problem is how I wish you stayed, mommy. Mommy, why did you have to go at this point when I needed you most? Daddy, why did you have to go? Just when your children were about to get to their prime and blossom, you left. So all this wealth, who are we making it for? We, most times we focus on things that are not really what matters and then leave out what matters. Now, there is a particular set of parents that once they see their children have made chain money, they will make sure they sap them off everything. Even though some of those parents know that they are even more buoyant than their children. Or most times they might not be. Those are not the parents I'm talking about. Know your limits, but do what you have to do. Even the Bible says you should honor your parents. It is about the only commandment with the promise. That it may be well with you. Why do we have to always fight about everything? Ah uh ah, -uh, this Oyibo self that we are copying. Do you know that Oyibo people take care of their parents? They are the top notch in taking go to just travel abroad and see them, their parents in homes, in all these nursing homes. They pay those bills. Who do you think pays the bills? The kids, the family members. Some of them might be wealthy enough to have maybe um, uh, insurance to cover them at old age or something, but the kids actually take care of their parents. So let's not stop, let's stop quoting Oyibo whenever we Africans want to be responsible. Take care of your parents as a matter of love. Because tomorrow, you will not be the one running your mouth. Your child will be the one running mouth. And imagine hearing your child say things like, I'm not taking care of this person. I, it's not my responsibility to take care of my parents. That child that you're paying no bobo school fees for today will say that, oh my God. 
to care for your parents is not probably not your responsibility you can argue that not your obligation you can argue that but do it anyway out of love and because the bible says you should do so okay guys i hope i'm talking to somebody here today <laughs> all right guys we've come to the end of today's episode of gist to genevieve i mean this this um, episode is actually a bit emotional for me i don't know why but guys let's just let's be good to our parents let's just be good if you don't have any reason why you should be good to them just be good to them because you're their parents honor them honor them because they are your parents okay guys so we've come to the end of this episode if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel you better subscribe to my youtube channel and come and get yourself filled up with the right information here okay guys so see you next week bye